welcome back to um, Gardening Young. Today we're in my Nana's kitchen again. I know that a bunch of you have been loving um, the canning video and I am so happy. We're so happy. Um, if you can't tell, I got races on. So that's a change um, that will take a little bit of getting used to. I'm still getting used to it, but um, that's been happening. But today I just kind of wanted to take you on this vlog and kind of, um, so we are going to be doing that zucchini relish that I mentioned in the canning video. We're going to be canning that today. Um, Nana's kind of already started the putting together of the zucchini relish. I can show you. This is, so it's kind of mixed up. And because I know that some of you guys are going to want to make it at home, I am going to put the recipe um, in the description so that you guys can go and um, look at that um, if you guys want to make it. I'll put that recipe in the description. And then the other thing we're going to be doing is processing that second half of tomatoes that weren't ripe in the canning video. Um, so we're going to be processing those today. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so today we actually are using the pint jars, um, so that's going to be fun. So, yeah, let's just hop right into this video. in here um, I would say kind of on medium high heat and then um, and then we're just bringing it to a boil and once it comes to a boil um, it goes for how many minutes Santa 30 minutes but it's simmering okay you don't boil it for 30 okay so once it comes to boiling you turn it down a little bit so that it'll simmer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, and then once it simmers it simmers for 35 30 minutes Yes. 30 minutes and then um, over here we're getting this water to a boil so that we can throw all of our lids and um, and rims in and then we are throwing all of our jars in the dishwasher um, that's one of the ways you can um, sanitize your jars is to throw it in the dishwasher a lot of people I've seen will like do it in their actual canner this isn't a canner but they'll do it in their actual water bath canner which you can do but um, I think we just find it easier to do it in the dishwasher so that's what's going on Thank you. 
Okay guys, so um, I ran out of um, storage on both of my memory cards um, and I don't have a computer to where I can get on there and clean out some of the um, space. So we are going to go to phone footage. Um, so the rest of the time that I am at Nana's, you are going to be having phone footage. So if the audio is a little funny, that's why. Um, it's because it's on my phone. So um, right now, um, as you just saw, um, I am filling up all of the jars um, with this relish. Um, and so that's what we're doing, so let's go. sit for 24 hours and then um, I have started the process of packing the um, tomatoes so I have my teaspoon of salt and we're going to start that process so let's go. the cans of tomatoes in the canner so those go for 85 minutes 85 minutes and um so those are in there um we're bringing it to a boil but yeah it's going pretty good so uh see you when the tomatoes are done Okay, so um, as you can see, all of the cans, um, all the tomatoes are out. But this weird thing is that every time we make these, um, there's like a gap 
at the bottom um, of it. And it's, and we're trying to figure out why exactly because the thing is, is that we're stuffing them um, as much as we can. So it's not like, it's not like we're not stuffing them and it's just, there's a lot of space for our, like, you know, it to float to the top. So, I don't really know what you're doing wrong. If you guys have any tips on that, please let us know. Um, because as you can see, it's like there's a gap at the bottom. And it's really annoying. So, we're, my Nana's going to do some investigating. But if you guys have any tips on that, please let us know. Because that would be very, very helpful. Um, and, yes. Okay, guys. So, right now I am actually back home. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys a few updates, honestly, um, and then something that's super exciting that I wanted to make sure that I shared this moment with you guys because it's extremely exciting. But first, a few updates, um, not a garden tour, but a few updates. And also, you guys will probably be seeing this video, um, after the garden tour. So, I'll be filming this before the garden tour, but you'll be seeing it afterwards. So, if a few things look different on the garden tour than they do look now, now, that's why. If that made any sense. Callie, you're acting like a crazy person. Callie! Oh, she just ran away. Callie! Callie, come here! Come here! Look, look. Look, say hi! Say hi. No, no bite. They're crazy. All right, let's uh, get into these updates. Okay, first things first, we have shishito peppers growing. I mean, how exciting is that? We have three little babies. Also, nasturtiums doing amazing. Look at this um, sucker that I planted. It's actually doing really, really good. Okay, this is not a garden tour. I came over here for a purpose. Okay, we got some rain recently and one of my favorite things is to dump this out on camera. I don't know why, but we got, let's see how much we got. We got like three inches of rain. Crazy. I'm loving my new rain gauge, by the way. All right, here's the most exciting thing. So here's our cherry tomatoes. And as you can see right there, we got some ripe cherry tomatoes. Super duper exciting. Look at those beauties. So this is a yellow variety, by the way. Um, and then look at it. It's this, it's absolutely covered. I mean, what am I gonna do with these mini cherry tomatoes? But absolutely doing amazing. <gasps> but I finally get to harvest some cherry tomatoes. That is so exciting. You guys don't even know how exciting that is to be harvesting cherry tomatoes again. But there you go. Great. And then also, we've got a bunch of flowers on the. Um, on the beef steak, on the slicer tomatoes. So hopefully we will be getting something from it, even though some of these are getting a lot of herbicide damage. Again, not a garden tour, but super exciting. All right, so it's getting late, but there you go. The first cherry tomatoes of the season, really exciting. And I need to turn the camera off before I, f before I start filming a garden tour because I'm so tempted to, but I know there's a garden tour coming. Now, th th by the time you see this, the garden tour will already be out, but that is really fun. Oh, I almost did these tomatoes. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, a few of them, that one isn't quite right, so I'll let that right then. But how exciting is that? Oh, I just dropped it. How exciting is that? Yay! Okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. 
um, canning, the zucchini relish, and the tomatoes, and all that fun stuff. And um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, go try it. Why is it not? Why is it yellow? It, it's supposed to be yellow. That's the variety. Oh, Here, wait. Yeah, try that one because that one's more ripe. Okay. okay. All right, ready. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it sweet? Delicious. Yay! First tomato of the season.